Hi, Keto for Real Life People here. Um, I'm going to attempt to tell my story, and first of all, I want to talk about carb addiction. It's real, there's carb addiction, there's sugar addiction, and I just want to say that it's one of those battles that uh, the majority of society refuses to acknowledge. All I can say is, hi, my name is Nancy Childress, and I'm a carb and sugar addict. I have been clean and sober now for a month and a half. It feels wonderful. I want to tell you guys my heart and my passion. I believe that people can live a keto lifestyle free of carb addiction, free of sugar cravings, free of eating disorders free of binge eating, gluten-free, free of digestive problems. You can be in remission from um, things like psoriasis and eczema. You can get off of diabetes medication. You can get off high blood pressure medication. It's truly an amazing way of living. And I don't even like saying the word diet. I love saying way of eating or lifestyle because it's a lifestyle and it's a big choice I'm 52 years old and for me I've spent most of my life battling weight issues um, I got married when I was very young I had my first child when I was very young and I continued to have one child after the other until I was 25 years old and I had five children and by the time I got done having children, I was well into my 200 pounds, 225 pounds. At one point in my life, I was 279 pounds. And I did lose weight by trying Weight Watchers, trying Atkins, trying to count calories. And because I'm 52 years old, there weren't any diet apps. There were no trackers. There were no such thing as the internet. There was no smartphones. So I ran around with a book trying to write down calories of everything I put in my mouth. And you know what? It never worked. I have done the yo-yo diet up and down for at least 30 years. 30 years I have spent struggling with weight achy joints, digestive problems, and I have put my family, particularly my husband, through hell. Like, this one's going to work. i got to try it. I've tried diet pills. I bought every book that was ever out there, and it never worked. And I know that my family was so disappointed in me, and I know they were so tired of hearing, oh, here she goes again. <laughs> But here's the thing, I didn't give up. I mean, I knew that somewhere, somehow, some way, there had to be an answer, and there had to be a reason why I could not, could not, could not lose weight and keep weight off. Well, the thing that, that people don't talk about is carb addiction and sugar addiction. Now you can scroll along on Facebook and you can see little video clips where it says that sugar is just as addictive as, as cocaine that it fires off all the same spots in your brain. I'm not scientific and I'm not a doctor and I'm not a healthcare professional, but I, I mean, I'm smart enough to realize that that is the truth and it's not even acknowledged by the medical community or the government. It's not regulated to say, hey, people with eating disorders or carbohydrate addictions or sugar addictions. And it's sad, it's sad because People who are overweight are always like stigmatized. They're like, you, you just have to be strong. You just have to make up your mind. Well, you know what? In one sense, it's true, you do. At some point you have to make up your mind, but you also have to have the right tools available to be able to be successful and be able to stay strong and push through and be able to be in recovery or remission or whatever you wanna call it. It didn't come for me until 2016. In 2016, I was miserable, miserable. 
didn't have health insurance, didn't have a way to go to the doctor, but I knew that every time I ate, I was getting sick and I was getting more sick and I was getting more sick. And I thought, well, I'm going to try low carb again because, you know, I had the most success. Anything that I've ever tried uh, failed, but carbohydrate restriction seemed to be the closest thing to success I could figure out. And I didn't know about keto. So I was scrolling around on Facebook and I was looking for carb low carb support groups and I saw something called keto and I was like, well, what's that, you know? Um, and I fell into it by chance and I'm, I mean, maybe not. Maybe God just led me straight there. I don't know. I'm just thankful that I found keto. I took a 90 day challenge. I geared myself up the week before. I kind of started like doing a little bit of preparation. I started cutting back on my carbs a little bit, you know, like skipping the sandwich and eating a salad or, or something like that. That way when that week came along that I was supposed to start, I was ready. I was so ready for the first time in my life. It was amazing. I jumped into keto. I learned about good healthy fats like coconut oil and butter and bacon fat and ghee and avocado oil, MCT oil, lard, butter. I mean, there are so many wonderful natural fats. They're not processed. They're not chemically altered. And I learned how to start eating real food and I learned for the first time in my life that I could be happy, satisfied, full. I didn't feel like I had to eat because that's what it's like when you struggle. It feels like you have to eat. Sometimes it feels like you have to eat even when you're sick and full and you can't eat another bite. You still want to eat. I've told my husband, I said, you don't know the me that's hiding alone at home when everybody's gone who can eat a whole bag of chips, two or three sandwiches, go in and fix some pancakes, eat a bowl of cereal, top it off with some tacos, all in one day because I couldn't feel satisfied. And it led to some really bad health problems for me. I learned to throw up after I ate. I've dealt with bulimia twice in my life. So keto to me was my last chance. It was, that was it, that was it. And I jumped in full force. I did it for 90 days. I eliminated all the carbohydrates. I eliminated wheat. I eliminated gluten. I eliminated legumes and potatoes and starches. All sugar was completely off the table. And the, I'm going to say that the first week I was excited, but I did learn about what they call the keto flu. I mean, I'm a newbie. I was absolutely jumping in. And I learned really quick, you know, that I had to be mindful of what I put in my body. But as the first week passed and the second week passed, it was as if the curtain or the veil had absolutely been lifted. For the first time, I wasn't hungry. For the first time, I started feeling energetic. The brain fog was going away. My energy levels started shooting up and the weight started falling off. How awesome is that? You know? And I just dug into it. I started reading everything I could. I looked on YouTube. I read articles, Googled it. I found doctors that promoted the keto lifestyle uh, or the paleo lifestyle. They run hand in hand. I dived in, I read, and I read, and I read. And over the 90 days that I eliminated sugar and wheat and gluten and starches and all those yucky processed foods, my weight was falling off and my family was like, what? Oh my God, this is so freaking amazing. I'm so happy for you. You look like you have a new lease on life. And I really felt like I did, but the 90 days ended and I was like, now what? I did this challenge and now I got to do it on my own. And I was kind of a, I was kind of intimidated. I'll be honest about it, you know, but then it was Halloween. The challenge ended and the next day was Halloween. But I really felt really strong and confident in what I had learned and what I had accomplished. So when I went trick-or-treating with my granddaughter and my daughter, I felt like 
I was in complete control of myself and my eating. And so when she offered me some candy, just a couple of little pieces, I didn't even hesitate. I'm like, sure, I haven't had any sugar in 90 days. This is going to be great. And then we went to McDonald's after trick-or-treating, and I had a tiny, one of their little cheeseburgers, a little french fry, and I thought, this is going to be great. It made me sick. My body had been purified. My body had been running on fat for fuel, and it was doing wonderfully. And when I put that food in my body, not only did I get sick again, but it was almost as if I had just went ahead and said, hey, give me some drugs. Let me do that because the cravings came back like you would not believe. They were ungodly, like everything. I couldn't stop, I could not stop. All of a sudden it was as if a flip, switch flipped again and there I was, eating everything. And where we were going into November, going into Christmas, and I started panicking because I was like, oh my God, I'm not ready. I can't get it under control. And guess what, guys? I did not get it under control. I did not. It took another year of me eating gluten and bread and carbs and processed junk, promising myself that I was going to get back on track Monday. On Monday, I'm going to get back on track. And I couldn't. I'd start out fine with some bacon and eggs in the morning, and then by lunch, I was like, oh, well, what the hell? I'm going to Sonic. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat that. And I made excuses instead of doing what I needed to do, and I couldn't. It took another whole year. It took me gaining all the weight back plus more weight and being sicker than I've ever been in my life until December. We were able to get health insurance, and for the first time, I really wanted to know why I was having a problem with gluten. So I got to go to the doctor. I was so thrilled. I talked about all the trouble I'd had, all my issues, and um, they did all my blood work, and I went to a gastroenterologist, and I was told I'm not allowed to have gluten. It, it really it does. I'm not allowed to have that. And I thought to myself, well, that's just fine, because on January 1st, 2018, I'm going to be ready for keto again. And I was, guys. I was <laughs> ready beyond belief. Ready. And I know now, I know now without a shadow of a doubt that I am on the right path. I am on the journey I'm supposed to be on. I, I happened to do a live on Facebook in a, in a private closed group of like 150,000. And I was just telling them how hard it is and please, you know, never encourage anyone to go off track, not for any reason whatsoever. Respect their way of living. If you're at a birthday party with somebody who's gluten-free or keto diet, don't say, hey, it's all right, go ahead and have some chips and salsa. It's okay, go ahead and have some mac and cheese or eat a piece of birthday cake. It's like looking straight out at an alcoholic or a drug addict and say, man, you've been clean. Here, let me give you some drugs. Let me give you some, let me give you some alcohol. That's how serious this is for a lot of people. So carb addiction and sugar addiction is real. And I toyed around with, oh, is it? Is it? Until I experienced it for myself firsthand, and now you can't convince me otherwise. It's truly real. As you go along on your keto journey, and I hope that you follow along here on YouTube, um, I hope to see more and more people come because my mission, my heart, is to help other people. Not only uh, get away from carb and sugar addiction, but to get healthy, to get strong, to lose weight. I love helping others. I'm willing to share my journey. I can tell you guys that in the first month of January, I lost 23 pounds. And since then, I have lost more weight, and that is February 20th. So I'm keeping that little part a surprise because we do things differently in our group. We work together. There's no drama. There's no hate. There's no condemnation. There's no judging. There's a lot of encouragement, a lot of support, a lot of information. And this week, we're doing a challenge where you just eat, eat, your fat first, but eat greens and see if it makes a difference. 
it has and has made a huge difference. So this is my new official first real video that I'm making for YouTube. And I know it sounds a little serious, but that's the way I felt about it. So if there's anybody out there who finds value in what I'm doing, if you want to learn how to live the keto lifestyle, if you need help along the way or advice, I'm going to be coming on. I'm going to be sharing my journey. And I'm going to do the whole little thing like take a moment and hit the subscribe button right below. And if you want, hit the little bell. It actually goes ding and ding and ding and ding. And every time I develop a new video, you'll be notified and you can learn and come along on this journey with me. I'll also tell you that on Facebook, I started a group called Keto for Real Life People group. And I did put the word group behind it because I have a page and I have a group. And in the group right now, there's like 2.7 thousand people. And this group is not like any other group that you've ever seen. It's formatted differently. We work together week by week. No one gets missed. And you're going to find all the support and information. I will be doing cooking tutorials. I'm learning how to do that, and I'm going to get some help with that as well. And I'm also working on website development, and I'm also on Instagram. So I hope that you found my story a little bit helpful. And I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch. You have a blessed and great evening.